There are many community fridges across PEI today, but there's one project that led the way for all of them back in 2021, and it recently marked its two-year anniversary. Sandra Sunil was one of the organizers who played the key role in launching the PEI community fridge in Charlottetown two years ago. The aim was simple, to provide a way for the community to donate food and for others to access this food 24-7. The project has grown far beyond its initial scope. It now has a large group of volunteers who support its operations. The fridge partners with restaurants and supermarkets, receiving food donations to keep it well stocked. I've never expected it to grow this much. I think um, our idea two years back, it was just to have a location, a small location where folks can just come and go and use as they need it and have volunteers in place just for building community. But it, it's definitely grown much more than expected. Um, but the PEI Community Fridge has faced a few challenges during its two years of operation. Sunil says she's aware of misinformation circulating on social media, particularly regarding people taking too much food from the fridge. She says those social media posts highlight the severity of food insecurity on the island. A lot of folks uh, might stock up on food items because of the fear that they might not find it again, right? Or may not be able to get it again. So it's that survival instinct. So that's what we really emphasize, the no questions asked policy and making sure this project is run in a non-judgmental and non-hierarchical manner. Sunil says it's important to keep improving the fridge to better help the community. So she has been organizing public meetings every month to provide a platform for volunteers and community members to shape the fridge's direction. In Charlottetown, I'm Tinwin for Saltwire.